my problem. It doesn't affect me, so why should I be bothered? Probably not. Mental health isn't a word that was ever mentioned. It wasn't a word that translated into Punjabi. Did you know a quarter of young women aged 16 to 24 experience a common mental health condition in any given week? People from the LGBTQ plus community can experience discrimination, isolation and feelings of low self-worth. Mental ill health is the leading cause of disability in the UK and it's the leading cause of sickness absence at work. It's easy to ignore or be apathetic when we see someone needing help, but if we do this, we're adding to the problem and the stigma surrounding mental health. I went to my GP thinking I was just going to say, you know, you're stressed. Um, when he said the word depression, I was like a rabbit in the headlights. I knew obviously what the word was, but I thought, me? That, that's not me. I don't know what that is. As somebody who's experienced anxiety and depersonalisation myself, I think it's very important for you to reach out. Um, Counselling and medication really worked for me and helped me to feel much more like myself. So I really encourage you to do the same. To recognise when someone is struggling and to be empathetic is very important. When we are dismissive of mental health, we are telling people that how they are feeling doesn't matter. By something not being your problem, actually adds to the problem. If you need support, we're here to help. You are valued and do have a place in the world. And KPG are here to support you through that journey and help you find what works for you. I'm pretty proud to say right now I am in such a good place and I've discovered who I am. But I don't think I would have done that if it wasn't for therapy. Mental health does not discriminate. And neither do we.